What's up guys, this is going to be the Shaman level 25 SOD Biss List Talents and Runes Guide and we're going to jump straight into the Biss List and this is going to be for Ellie and Resto and we're going to start out with the Ringed Helm to the Spectral Necklace of the Eagle Robust Shoulders of the Eagle Cutthroat's Cape of the Eagle Black Velvet Robes Durable Braces of the Eagle Strength of Purpose Basalt Buckler, the Void Touch Leather Gauntlets, Gamora's Cinch, Dervish Leggings of the Eagle, and if you're Resto, you're going to be using the Void Touch uh, Spider Silk Boots instead of the gloves. Then you're going to be running Plains Ring, Cobalt Ring of the Eagle, Arena Grandmaster, and Insignia of the Horde. If you're playing Enhance at level 25 in SOD, for PvP, you want to be picking up the Humbert's Helm. High Tide Choker, Mantle of Thieves, Phalanx Cloak of the Bear, Black and Defire Armor, Bindings of Sericus, Windstorm Hammer, Head Splitter, Void Touch Leather Gloves, Deft Kim Belt, Trip Runner Dungarees, Warsong Boots, Seal of Sylvanas, Silver Lane's Family Seal, Arena Grandmaster, and Insignia of the Horde. And finally, if you're going to be playing the Enhance Tank Hybrid spec, this is going to be good for flag carrying and just generally being annoying, being really tanky, but while still being able to put out a decent amount of damage with shocks and some melee damage. I'm going to be running the Humbert's Helm, Spectral Necklace of the Bear, Mantle of Thieves, Sentry Cloak, Black and Defire Sama, Bindings of Seracus, Windstorm Hammer, Basalt Buckler, Void Touch Leather Gloves, also have the option to run the the Void Touch Spider Silk Boots as it does reduce damage, so it's like a, a cheeky little shield wall. We've got the Deft Kim Belt, Trip Runner Dungarees, Warsong Boots if you don't decide to run the uh, the Void Touch Spider Silk Boots. We've got Seal of Sylvanas, Silver Lane's Family Seal, Arena Grandmaster and Insignia of the Horde. As you can see we're focusing quite a lot on stamina with this build. For Ellie, your talents are going to look something like this, and the main prior here is to pick up Improved Ghost Wolf. This is going to be a common theme throughout all the Shaman specs. You're going to pick up 5 out of 5 Concussion to increase our damage done by Shocks, and then Convection 4 out of 5 to reduce the mana cost of those Shocks. Obviously Chain Lightning is not going to be achievable at level 25 yet, and you're not going to be Lightning Botting that much due to the cast time, since we aren't able to get the reductions yet. 5 out of 5, Shield Specialization synergizes nicely with Shield Mastery. And for the Leg Rune, we're going to be picking up Way of Earth. This is going to make us lots, lots more tanky. With the damage reduction, the reduced chance to be crit, and the extra health pool. Lava Burst being the Hand Rune. Shield Mastery can also be switched out for Overload. <clears throat> for Enhance, your talents are going to look a little bit more like this. You're going to be running 5 out of 5 Ancestral Knowledge. Since we'll be running two one-handers. There is the option to switch to a shield, but we aren't running shield mastery, so it won't be as valuable, which is why we're taking ancestral knowledge instead. Thundering strikes for the extra crit chance. Two out of two improved ghost wolf. Three out of three improved lightning shield for that thorns damage. And then we're going to be getting one out of five in flurry. For the runes, we're going to be running dual wield specialization for that free hit on both spells and melee. Won't be getting Storm Strike yet, sadly, so we won't be able to take value from that. But the free hit uh, is super valuable at this level because of the lack of hit on gear. For the Leg Rune, we're going to be running Sham Rage to maintain our mana and have a defensive cooldown to try to be a little bit tankier. And then on the Hand Rune, you can either run Lava Lash for more melee damage, Lava Burst for some range damage, or you can run Water Shield if you would like some more mana. For Resto, we're going to be running 5 out of 5 Shield Specialization once again. The 2 out of 2 improved Ghost Wolf, synergizing nicely with Shield Mastery. Then we're going to be running 4 out of 5 Convection to reduce the mana cost of our shocks, so that we can still interrupt and it not be too punishing. And then we're going to be running 5 out of 5 improved Healing Wave, so that we were able to heal a little bit of Healing Wave and with Earth Shield to keep people topped. For the Hand Rune, we have the option to run Water Shield. If we're not getting targeted, this is going to give us some more mana per 5. 
or there is an option also to run a lava burst if you want to be a little bit offensive as well. And finally, we have the tank spec. Once again, the 5 out of 5 shield spec, 2 out of 2 ghost wolf combo with the shield mastery. Pretty standard for all of the shaman specs. And then we're going to be running 5 out of 5 concussion for increased damage on our shocks, as you're going to be able to rotate both earth shock and another shock on an independent cooldown. So you're going to be getting a lot of shock damage out as a result of this. This is where the main damage from this spec is going to come from. Then you're going to be obviously taking the 1 out of 5 convection with your, your extra point just to reduce that mana cost a little bit. And then 3 out of 3 elemental warning to reduce some spell damage. And then, as I said, the runes is going to be shield mastery, way of earth. On the hand rune, I would say your options are either lava lash for a little bit more melee damage or lava burst for a little bit more range damage. Water shield probably won't be needed and you're most likely going to be able to run uh, lightning shield a fair amount as Shield Mastery is going to give you all the mana you need. 